no, that's real. And you should be careful. Maybe you should watch out before you go back in your car. Or maybe you should be, you know, take whatever precaution because that's real. One last one. You waved your hand, so I'll give you a... Yes. You still have your hand up. Good. So as soon as something negative happens, people tend to blame it on Nazar or the evil eye. So my question is, what is the meaning of the evil eye in the Quran compared to the knowledge we have from our cultures? You're not going to like it. I tell you now, I am not convinced that we have interpreted the common, the, the common interpretation of the hadith involving the evil eye is interpreted properly. Al-Ainu Haq, in my opinion, Allahu Ta'ala Alam, Al-Ainu Haq is referring to jealousy can have really bad consequences. But not that if I stare at someone with enough laser focus, they will fall down the stairs. Uh, or, you know, you, you developed, uh, I developed really bad allergies yesterday because the first day somebody didn't say mashallah when they saw, they saw my PowerPoint presentation. I, no, because if, if Ayn was really that powerful, then every time a country get, elects a president that the country doesn't like, everybody should just get together for an Ayn party and just... And then they should just <laughs> start melting as they speak. <laughs> like, <laughs> and though nobody gave, like nobody received more ayn than the Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, right? Uh, the the thing with the idea of, uh, you know, um, oh, you you were you were you dressed up for a wedding and then you looked really nice, but you didn't say mashallah. Or somebody else didn't say mashallah. Even worse. Okay, you said it. You're like, mashallah, tabarakallah, inshallah, la hawla wala quwwata illa billah, Allah la ilaha illa wala qiyum. But when you got to the wedding, somebody in a corner was like, oh, she looks nice. Some old lady. And she didn't say mashallah. And somebody else pulled her in the other direction. And now all of a sudden, qadr has changed. And now, you know, you're just going to develop this skin rash that's going to make like boils on your forehead. And you're like, that old lady. I got ayn. I got ayn at the wedding. No, that's in my opinion, that is superstition. This is a this is this is a kind of religion that people before Islam followed superstitions, and then they had to find ways of ending the curse. Right? Then they had to go to someone who could end the curse for them. And the end the curse was kind of a spiritual pharmacy where the guy will say, Oh yes, I must contact the spirits, and you have this demon on you, you have this evil eye on you, you have this, you know, magic spell on you, and I will give you this, you know, mixed drink this and then go around the circles three times and then do the hokey pokey and then it will go away but it'll charge you fifty dollars or something you know this this whole nonsense this was the way that people used to buy religion right and islam came where where in the quran is this this ayin where is it and then people extrapolated from ayat like that believer the disbelievers would they they stare at you so hard that if they could, they would make you fall off your steps from the way they look at you when they hear the Qur'an. Meaning Allah is describing the hatred inside their eyes. And actually, have, has it ever happened to you that you walk into a classroom, an office, a lobby, a restaurant, whatever, and you can see the hatred in somebody's eyes? You can see it? And that's al ainu haq meaning watch out for people like that. Don't just assume, oh, they must just be having a bad day. No, that's real. And you should be careful. Maybe you should watch out before you go back in your car. Or maybe you should be, you know, take whatever precaution. Because that's real. You know, facial expressions are a giveaway. That's what, that would be my read of, of that phenomenon. But I don't believe that um, just because somebody has hasad of you, that the rizq Allah has written for you is taken away because of their hasad. Because no one has more hasad on you than shaitan. And you still have rizq. And if hasad got rid of rizq, then I think all of us would be starving. Either we're killing someone or somebody's killing us. You understand? So it's an, it's an exaggerated extreme that has gone too far and we've turned our religion into this superstitious stuff. And it's just not something true to the spirit of the Qur'an. In my opinion. Allah <laughs>